crossbow quiver as well. You hear nothing else in the light. What about those shadows? Ah, that's right. I'm in the light, aren't I? I forgot to ring the bell again. Yeah, I don't know what happens. Is that inside the fence or out here? It's out here. There was nothing out here last time, earlier. There you are. <laughs> I see that right in front of me. Thanks for that, Redeem. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it could be, Spud. Hehehe. <laughs> I forgot I actually added it. <laughs> I believe I have found your skull. Though it is coated in silver and carved with strange markings, I am restored to myself because of you. Please accept a gift for your troubles. You are very generous. 200 coins for that. I should probably head back to get some health before heading to the next location. Yeah, as you can see, I found it on HUD FX rather than I've run straight past the place I was going to. Rather than blurp. But with the HUD, HUD FX, it's got the dancing skeleton that pops up in front of me. Rude. You really should be more careful. Here's a trinket to cheer you up. I'm thinking, although the crossbow has 75 damage compared to the 35 for the longbow, the longbow can fire way quicker.
Who knows? I didn't realise that was a thief. First I've had that. Who are you? Clue. Found an unadorned, inexpensive looking sheath for a large knife. Okay. Clues found, or clues, chess, pages, and graves. I was thinking, I reckon that's inside the fence here. I found this knife sheath where the Indian girl was killed. I remember watching Isaac Cantrell draw his knife. He had the girl pinned to the ground, but she wasn't even struggling. Just looking at him, I was begging him to let her go. But he stabbed her so hard, I heard the blade scrape the rocks under her. Wow. Why? Why did he have to do that? <laughs> well, I don't really know too much about Dark Souls, but I believe Dark Souls skeletons are pretty strong. Why did they kill the captain? What do you mean? The savages, why did they blame him? He never touched the girl. Is this knife the she is this knife sheath yours? It is. Then you are Isaac Cantrell. That's right, I remember now. You killed an Indian girl. The captain swore he'd hung any hang any man that ravished a savage woman. She would have told someone. 
What was done to her? You raped her? We both did. Me and Samuel. Wow. Damn. What happened to you? I remember Savage showing me a finger with a ring on it. It's the captain's ring. So I asked why he killed him. And he said revenge for his sister. I tell him the captain never touched her. It was me. Next thing I knew, I was on the ground and he was plunging his knife down again and again. You deserved it. Wow. Knife sheath is complete. I still got something for the engraved skull. Your Benedict Harper is complete. I'm surprised there's no more to that. Failed to return from an expedition and was presumed dead. That's the type of thing I've been investigating, finding out what's happened to them. I feel like that was coming from here. Ah, it's back at this place. You raped the Indian girl? I suppose I did. I can remember her lying there, watching me. Why me? Why not Isaac? She was naked except for one shoe. She was bleeding bad from where Isaac stabbed her. She was trying to say something, but all that came out of her mouth was bloody bubbles. I didn't like the way she was staring at me, so I ran away. So you raped her? after she'd been stabbed. Richard Wilkinson was killed in retaliation for what was done to her. They wanted revenge, but he told them he would find the culprit himself and see him hanged in accordance with English law. You are also scum. That is terrible. <laughs> I don't know if that's so much of a dumb way to die. It's a dumb thing to do, for sure. There's still more to find out about her, though. Well, that's more for the two guys, but for the girl, she didn't deserve it. Nothing of that. They deserve death for what they did.
I sent those men to die. Which men? The soldiers under my command. They died because of me, because I sent them out of the fort. I said Englishmen shouldn't cower behind walls. Is this helmet yours? Yes. Then you are Captain Wilkinson. Yes, I am Richard Wilkinson. What happened to you? I could feel myself screaming, but I heard nothing. So much pain, I couldn't breathe. One of the savages opened my visor, leering at me, holding something up so that I could see it. It was a hand. It wore my ring. I realized I was screaming again. I was sinking into the darkness. I let it go. This was what I deserved. Definitely the two guys, yeah. Not a problem, Spud. Thanks for hanging out and lurking for so long. It is appreciated. And the little bit of chats as well. You called Samuel Mallard a coward. I saw him on the ground. I thought he'd grown, he'd thrown himself down in fear. I apologised afterward. He said their blood was on my hands. He said it should have been my blood. Wow. Still more to discover about him. I'm kind of surprised I'm still going myself. <laughs> I think I'm going back to the fort. Yep. Ouch. I hurt myself a little bit. You told Richard Wilkinson it should have been his blood that was spilled. And I made certain that it was. I remember I was whittling it to pass the time. I was anxious, wondering whether he would return after I told those savages that it was him that raped and killed the girl. He was late coming back. He just gets worse and worse. Captain Wilkinson, Century Post is done. Samuel remembers fighting Indians. Actually, I'll leave away from the bell a bit. So we don't have that constant ringing there. And guess what? I forgot to grab the health. That's fine. Yeah. Samuel remembers fighting Indians near the fort. He fired at one with his uh, ramrod still in the barrel. Knocking himself down, he remembers Captain Wilkinson yelling at him to get up and fight. Actually, that wasn't the first one. Samuel Mallard is worried that Captain Wilkinson hasn't returned to the fort after going out to gather firewood. Samuel seems certain the captain was killed by Indians. Samuel remembers fighting the Indians. Captain Wilkinson saw Samuel sitting on the ground and assumed he had been overcome by fear. When he learned the truth, he apologized for the insult 
Samuel said that it should have been Wilkinson who was killed in the battle. Isaac Cantrell remembers an Indian youth showing him Captain Wilkinson's finger, claiming they killed him in retaliation for Cantrell's crime. Cantrell was killed when he confessed to the crime, rightfully so, but Cantrell wasn't the worst one of the two. The other one was ridiculously terrible. Captain Wilkinson blames himself for the deaths of men under his command. Samuel told several Indians that Captain Wilkinson raped and murdered the Indian girl, when it was in fact Samuel, not the captain. Partly to avoid taking responsibility for his role in the crime, and partly as revenge against the captain. The Indian Girl Century Post Samuel remembers a naked Indian girl staring at him. He felt uncomfortable and ran away. After he'd already raped her and all that. He remembered she was lying on the ground bleeding. He remembers Isaac Cantrell stabbing her. Yeah, and after, she, after he stabbed her, you went and raped her. Isaac and Samuel both raped her. Samuel told several Indians the captain... Wilkinson raped them and murdered the girl, partly to avoid taking responsibility for his role in the crime and partly as revenge against the captain. Samuel was is the worst of them. Both Isaac and Samuel deserve death, but Samuel deserved torture and death. Okay, nothing else in the darkness. I don't remember looking at what that one is. I should really go turn off the bell to see properly again now, but... Ah, that's what it is. I can't get that. Very much so, Primordial. I'll go check these two out again to make sure they are actually done. I believe you're standing right here. And you're not here now, so you're done. That pile I can't do either. I just noticed my tablet is going flat. 
I'll quickly plug that in. There we go. And I think that's all for the area. I remember we stayed at this fort for a couple of days. The men stationed here were grim and sullen. My mother told my sister and I not to go out alone. I was glad to leave. I have learned the fate of a wraith. What did you learn? Samuel Mallard blamed a crime he participated in on his captain, partly to avenge the needless deaths of his comrades and partly to hide his own guilt. I would think that a man who finds himself regretting his own deeds would be forgiving for the mistakes of others. That's a Spanish flag. Whatever happened here ended badly for the occupants of this fort. I'm a bit confused. I don't know where to go now. Because all the circles are piles I can't dig up, which is basically all that's left in each map. These are fast travel points. I'm not sure what's behind that. I can't turn off the fast travel points, can I? Nope. Showing all, this is all I've got. I've checked that wraith, I've checked... No, not... Uh, no, they're not wraiths, they're... Oh yeah, wraiths. I've checked that wraith, checked that wraith, and checked that one. I reckon two of them might be shadows. Those two are shadows that are gone. That's where I am. I would have thought in one of them I would have found... Maybe if I head over there, maybe there's another gate. Because that's where I entered the place. That was the first place I unlocked, then there and then went there. So if I go directly west. There was totems again, so I'm thinking of there's got to be something around. The last area, once the totems were cleared, a gate opened to the next area. Is this a gate? Looks like it. And it is in, in fact open. All destinations unlocked. Oh no, Betrayer has stopped working. <laughs> 